Yeah. You know what's wrong? I'm gonna see if I get this circuit board out again. And I'll uh, attempt to refurbish it, hopefully. This thing's gonna work again. This will be a pretty good dishwasher once I get it going. Isn't that right, kitty? Oh, cute. Crap on your nose, let me get that off. Oh. I ain't gonna kiss in the lens, I don't want you smearing the lens. Listen to that cat purr. That's not a loud cat. Okay, the oars well. Being very, very, very careful. Loads of uh, effect, uh, not sorry, a masking tape there, just in case something shorts out. It's sort of right below, way below that metal part, but just to be safe. I'm gonna plug this thing in, I hear that humming. Another bit, I hear switching sounds, so it is working to some degree. But this gives a bit, a bit of a concern. That resistor goes back up to these diodes. So I suspect these 104007s, one of them might be shorted. So I have to check that area. There's no reason why they would have gotten so hot. Something's, got any, uh, something's given way here. That's cool. That one's cool. That one's cool. That's uh, your regulator. They're cool. That's this part of the board I'm going to focus on. Isn't that right, kitty? Let's do some checks. Oh, cute. Man, this cat's loud. Um, get the correct way here. Take one layer of circuit. Go and test it. That's a glory of brain capacitor. 25 volt, 1000 microfarad. Open circuit. It looks like that cap's got open circuit on us. Well, I think that's the smoothing cap, the smoothing capacitor. Because I, I am hearing a 100 hertz ripple buzz. So it is actually working, but nothing's actually getting past that capacitor. Looks like that cap's going to have to be replaced. Yeah, I have heard Gloria brand capacitors not being very, uh, not, not a very reliable brand of capacitor. So let's see what replacing this capacitor does. Here's the old capacitor. Uh, I don't have any um, spare axials in my stock, so I had to compromise and uh, put a radial in its place. It's a good Rubicon, has really good ESR on it. So I tested quite well that capacitor. There we are, it's pretty good. Let's give it another test. Yeah, not a very good brand. The still tests bad, definitely open circuit. Well, I'll plug that in. I get power to the speaker and it's clean DC, not a buzz or slight ripple. So it must have been upsetting this regulator and shutting it down and stopping it from all well, this from working. All this sort of circuitry here would need clean ripple free DC, so that's one of the culprits. Let's uh, rack it all, uh, put the membrane back on. Very carefully, see if I press it and it does nothing. All unplugged, but be very careful here. Exposed circuit. They tested fine, they're still within their tolerance, those resistors. Those diodes all checked fine. Alright. Very carefully, it's all insulated. I wasn't getting that before. I think it's fixed. Hey, hey it's promising. Oh, she's all back together. For those of you who are interested, this is a 500, 500E, the part number for this membrane switch. There's a number there. And it's a 500E, which is this particular dishwasher. And that's all that was on with it. There we are. Hmm, this rendered this whole appliance scrap metal because of this little bloody thingy. But I got it going quite well. I mean, a pan in my side, and it would end up being a couple, uh, I made it even a hundred bucks for a new board because he uh, wouldn't have done that. He would have put a whole new board in it and a switch. So, I hey, for a hundred bucks, there you go, not worth it. But I was able to do it on the cheap. For under 50 bucks, well under 50 bucks. That's how much the repair cost. Now a good working dishwasher, yay. But let's plug it in and see if it actually will work. Because I had a door open testing it. I won't work with a door open. Safety interlock. All right. Hey, hey. Don't want to run it. 
uh, the water seal and the pump hasn't had water in it for about 10 years because this thing was abandoned, neglected and not used for 10 years. It's a worker. We have a good working dishwasher. Now I'm going to inspect all the uh, plumbing underneath because there's a like a radiator hose, rubber pipe under the water pump. I just inspect that for cracks, and if that all looks good, this thing's good to go. Oh, cute. Okay, viewers, I'm going to put a bottom plate off this and inspect all the pipe work. If no perished or no cracks, all looks intact, all looks uh, in perfectly, the rubber still looks in perfectly good shape. I'm going to whack this thing on tests, give it a good rinse out, because it has not seen water in 10 years. So. 1992 Australian made cord, that's the original cord for this machine, so it's an L090 dishwasher. A very popular dishwasher this. I don't know if the repairman actually took the original membrane out to see if it was actually that switch that was buggered in the first place. Because this could have been the failed and that's it, took the whole circuit out. Because yeah, it up, this would have, um, the ripper would have upset the uh, chip on that board and it would have gone to a safety shutdown, turning everything off, even the beep in the door, that's it. So. Those brand capacitors are always used on these dishwashers. You see something like that in one of these dishwashers and you get the symptoms it doesn't work? Check this capacitor and replace it first. And yeah, who knows? It may work. But the membrane switch is also a common fault, so I'll always start with this for now on. Then, and if it works, that's it, that's all it was. But if it still doesn't work, then go to the membrane. But if you press this button and it beeps, and that's it. It means your board's fixed, but your membrane's gone. So keep an eye out, and you might find these things cheap on eBay. I was lucky to find that one for a good price. So in this case, that's all it was. A dud capacitor. And they had to buy the membrane, because the original one in there was missing. But I got a good dishwasher. Sweet. Just paid for itself. A good investment, this thing. Bottom kick plate assembly off here. This is all your little uh, diagram, schematic diagram and thing. I think the schematic's in here as well. This tells you all the um, how long everything goes for, depending on what you set. Yep, it has got a schematic in it. See if I open this thing up. Service history. Well, no one's ever signed that. Today, air yeah, being the 24th of August 2013. I will place the capacitor, service by me. So, pretty simple stuff. Yeah, temperature thermistor, which is that little, I didn't show that, but it had a little wire going down, and a little probe going, sitting in a little pocket there in the door. That just tells you that everything's hot. Display board, control board. Protecting the environment by reusing recycled paper. That's back then. Australia made appliance. There's everything connects to. Your motor, lamps, lights, the lights do work in this thing. Your motor, here. Pressure switch heater. There's a heating element at the bottom of the uh, machine. Well, it doesn't have a cold, so that's not used. There was no cold uh, solder connection or relay for that. See, it's only got one, and that's hot. It doesn't need it anyway, because you can select it on the board somewhere here, not to use the heat, so it doesn't really need that. More on here, for models with the economy switch only. Fast wash and economy switches. Fast, eco, um, wash, I don't know if it has that. Fast wash, yeah it does. There it is there. Uh, broken lines of wire and over now, it's very applicable, yeah we know that. Timer sequence, there we are. Everything you need to know is on this thing. Oh, I should have another one of these somewhere. I've got the um, original owner's manual to this somewhere as well, so I might have another one somewhere when I find them. A little bit kept on record for this dishwasher. But look at this rubber. It all feels and looks brand new. There's no cracked or perishing rubber there, so this thing's going to work sweet. Alright, let's give it a test. A little bit of inside and everything ready to go. Max. Pull that out. That should last for ages and I throw it up just past the max line. Don't go too far over there, you don't want to overflow it. 
Got the glass there. Should be up like that, not on its side. It's a bit high that one. Crap the old uh, can opener. Let's give it a test. Water's on, everything's way down, so I'm gonna I haven't got a thing for this tap to screw that onto, so garden hose is gonna have to do. What could I use? Well let's go on super. No delay, here we go. Depends on what cycle I'm going to find out how to use it again now. Let's try the EK one. Hang on. Yeah, I didn't give it a chance to get itself going again. Yeah, that's right. It's a little bit of a delay. Then it'll put the water in. And it yeah, that's how it works. There will be a bit of a delay before I start to put water in there. Give it a chance. Now I'm going to put water in there. Alright. Been a while since I uh, remember this um, one of these dishwashers going. Yep, it's working now. Now I haven't got the heat on, so. I guess she's a eco setting for now. Sweet. Working quite well so far. Yep, water's coming out clean. No leaks, it's all working quite well. And I forget how long these bloody cycles take. I should have paid more attention to that little diagram there. The one we had, I think we just used this cycle and that's it. And that took half an hour, nothing else. I think all these other cycles here go for, I think, the same or a little bit longer, but they do a pretty damn good job. I think, um, uh, if I remember correctly, this can match a commercial dishwasher in some aspects, in some cycles. But we only ever use a fast cycle. We use some of the longer cycles. That's pretty, a good little runner. Working quite well. Very happy with that. Very happy with it. Just needs a bit of a cosmetic cleanup, and it's looking good. If yours has just finished washing, yeah, that's a pretty good job. Not bad, not bad. At least I like the one when I was little. <laughs> All works and she all cleaned up quite well. Yeah, that super cycle was about an hour. Just over an hour that cycle goes for. It cleaned up quite well, got some methylated spirits and got it a good buff and all cleaned up quite nicely. Just got to work on all this little area here. Got a bit, uh, yeah. A lot of craps accumulated on it, accumulated on it from, not, from it not being used for a long time. But, uh, um, yeah, television component, got this thing going again. That capacitor I put in here was out of that old Mitsubishi, t uh, Mitsubishi TV. And there we are, working quite well. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.